Our breaking news coverage continues this morning from Pickering, where the death toll from a fiery crash overnight's now risen to two. CP24 Steve Ryan is live at the scene this morning with more on this story. Uh, Chopper 24 providing an aerial view of the situation on the highway there, and you can see that burned out tractor. Uh, Steve, the devastation from this crash is pretty extensive, and it looks like the roads are going to be closed for some time now. They will be, uh, that's for sure. And main reason is, uh, well, it's a couple of reasons. The accident needs to be reconstructed by the OPP investigators, and there has to be an engineering team come in to look at the bridge itself to see if uh, its integrity has been compromised as a result of the explosion, as will the road that's on the uh, on the highway as well. So I'm going to refer to Sergeant Smith's statement uh, or interview that you and Nick did earlier on, and that'll help give some context as to what we're going to show you. So for starters, I am on the north side of the 401 west of Brock Road, and you're looking in the easterly direction. Now, according to Sergeant Schmidt, at around 10.30 last night, a tanker truck was going eastbound underneath the Brock overpass when, for reasons unknown at this point, it struck one of the concrete abutments. It was carrying some sort of flammable liquid, believed to be an oil product, and it exploded on contact. That driver of that truck has been pronounced deceased as a result. Traffic going westbound drove directly into uh, the fire. And if we pan west, you'll see a uh, four-door sedan. That sedan was traveling westbound on the 401. You can see it's scorched. Sergeant Smith said that the two people in that vehicle were able to escape, thankfully. About 100 yards west of that vehicle, you'll see another transport truck. That has come to a stop near one of the uh, abutments and it has been burned out as well. The driver of that vehicle has died as a result. So it's a very complex investigation. The big question is going to be what happened to the driver of that uh, tanker truck. Lots of questions to be asked and lots of answers to be had. I'll send it back to you guys. Thanks so much, Steve. And yeah, some very devastating images. This is a live look from the scene, giving you one perspective. Live shots now giving us the aerial perspective of this very violent and horrific collision site. Uh, live images from Chopper 24 over top of the 401 and Brock Road in Pickering. So the closures will remain in place. We were hearing earlier for at least most of today and then potentially longer. Of course, once the investigation wraps up, you can see to the right side of your screen uh, the charred out road. So repairs have to be done. Investigation has to be done. Of course, uh, avoid it right now. 401 both ways between Westney and Whites.